So today we'll start with derivatives. Derivatives are the instantaneous rate of change of a function or the slope of a tangent line at a point. So the first part is basically it's the rate of change. So how does it how is the function changing? And the second part is it says that it could be the slope of a tangent line. So let's say you have a function like this and there's a point here. Well, tangent to it would be this line. So it could be the, de the derivative could be this or it could also be like the, the, the change the change in how this is increasing so there is a formula for it so the derivative of f of x is basically the limit of f of x plus the h minus f of x over h as h approaches zero so this is our function f of x this is h is like the change is about the change as the change gets smaller and smaller to zero basically as the change gets smaller and smaller to basically like a point how is the function overall changing so f of x plus the h minus f of x that's our change over an interval which is h and that interval is getting smaller and smaller and smaller we're basically reducing it to zero let's say we have f of x is equal to x squared plus five and we will need to find the derivative we need to find the derivative and we can use this formula to find it so the derivative of f of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. So we have x plus h. So instead of x squared, it is going to be x plus h squared plus 5 minus f of x. So that's just our function. x squared plus 5 over h. It is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. So here, if we do x plus h squared, so that's x squared plus 2 times x h plus h squared plus 5 minus x squared minus 5 over h. Then 5 with minus 5 goes away x squared with minus x squared goes away so we're just left with limit as h approaches 0 we have 2x h plus h squared over h now if we decide to factorize the h to so the limit as h approaches 0 and we factorize the h so we're left with 2x plus h over h h with h goes away so we're left with 2x plus h and as the limit is approaching 0 we're just left with 2x because this is 0 so we're just left with 2x. So if we go back, we can use this formula to find the derivative of function. Now in the next videos, you will have rules of differentiation where it's easier to just follow those rules rather than just use this formula. It's, it's, they will be more much more quicker as the functions will get complicated. This is the basic formula, but there are other rules that just makes them easier. Till then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more educational content. See you in the next video.